Hey everybody, it's your girl the Empress Chanel coming at you with a weekly video. So this week, Monday, we're doing cardinal signs. That's Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Dear my loving and most highest vibrational angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, totems, and guardians, I ask that you clarify this message from you through me. I ask that you cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver this message to my collective mode of cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. All right, so make sure y'all check my description box for all the links and tidbits. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Don't be trying to fit nothing in your story that doesn't fit. If it doesn't sound relevant, then it's not your part of the reading. This is a shared reading, y'all. Remember, you're sharing the energy, so everything's not going to fit your story. I'm going to use my little witchy cards because I feel like they're more Halloween since we got Halloween coming up. <laughs> So this is the Everyday Witch Tarot and the Everyday Witch Tarot Oracle cards. And then I'm going to use my Black Cat Tarot cards as well for clarification. Let me get three, please. All right. The first card we got is Meditation for Clarity. All right. See, she's looking into that uh, pool of water and her reflection isn't much. It's not that clear. Um, so she's trying to figure out something that hasn't been clear to her. She's got her sage burning right there next to her, trying to clear the air around her, trying to clear her aura. Um, but just at the same time, meditating, being focused. We got another meditation card, cleansing body and spirit. So spiritual baths. Basically, that's what it is that she's doing. She, she's cleansing her body, but at the same time, she's cleansing her spirit. And you can also meditate when you are in the bath. The stained glass windows gives it a little bit of a more like, and the candles give it kind of like a little, um, I don't want to say religious effect, but a very spiritual effect to it. I don't know why the number three could be significant. We have plant the seeds here. There's some fertilizer right there. She's down in the dirt. She ain't even got nothing on her feet. So grounded, planting those seeds. That gives me seven of pentacles energy. Um, planting seeds and watching them harvest, watching them grow, watching, uh, you know, getting back what you put out, reaping what you sow type of energy. We have strength and resilience here at the bottom of the deck. So against all odds, against anything, the wind blowing up against her, all of that shit. Strength and resilience. So let's see what we got going on. Look, even her familiar is helping her cover up the holes that have the seeds. Like, yo, I'm here. I got you. Your spirit guides are leading you to do everything. They even lead us to relax. We don't always have to be doing something. Right now is the season of Scorpio season. So it's kind of like, like with water signs, I feel like that's more or less the time to kind of go with the flow. Um, this is... Um, Scorpio is eighth house, which is the house of transformation. Um, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, transformation, death and rebirth, that type of deal. But um, as with any transformation with death, the, you know, when somebody dies, what do we say? Rest in peace. That's supposed to be the time period right after karma season, right after Libra season, where you're supposed to be peacefully resting after your transition, after your change, after the karma has settled in for everyone and, um, you know, getting ready to plant some seeds so we can, you know, reap some more or being uh, getting ready to reap what we have planted, the seeds that we have sown uh, earlier in the year. That type of deal. OK, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, I guess I'll put four out. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Queen of Wands here. That's Aries energy. Could be feminine, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the Star here, Aquarius energy. And we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy here. So we've got a little bit of fire, some earth and air, no water yet. Uh, we have the Devil, Capricorn energy here at the bottom of the deck. Um, that talks about temptations and um, trickery, I feel like. Look at him. He's trying to bribe them with money and treats and things like that. Those cats know what's up. The cats are trying to tell the familiars like, nah, uh, the, this person energy ain't right. What's at the top of the deck? We have the hermit going within, retreating, okay, taking a time out. 
gaining inner wisdom and knowledge using the tools that we've gained here on our walk of life and taking that within and applying that to the spiritual um, lessons that we have learned or are learning and integrating that so going hermit mode if you will all right so let's clarify with this uh black cats tarot because literally in every single card the only card where someone is being active is plant the seeds card and even she is like grounded you know what i mean like even though she's planting she's moving her hands around she's doing something she has her feet in the dirt she is grounding so i'm getting a lot of stagnant energy a lot of stay still energy a lot of fall back energy it's time to take a time out basically the ace of pentacles that's a brand new beginning like i said we're in the season of death and rebirth there may have been a lot of endings um clearing out that you had to do during karma season during libra season during this past mercury retrograde we had jupiter go back you know um station and direct as well uh we also had pluto in the beginning of october go back station and direct so it was a lot of things that were going on this month that had a tug and pull and it kind of forced a lot of deaths um in friendships in social groups in family dynamics you know but um don't fall into the five of cups energy i'm feeling like <clears throat> make sure you're taking the time out to realize um the things that you do have around you the self-love the inner wisdom the knowledge that you've gained from everything that you've um gone through recently okay we have the ace of pentacles being clarified by the knight of cups so some sort of generous offer is going to be being made i feel like for you all this week the knight of cups gives um an offer a generous offer something that is fulfilling something that is loving something that will be emotional the ace of pentacles can also be a gift so some of you may have an, an intuitive gift because the Knight of, of Cups is also about like um, abundant intuition, growing intuition, using your intuition, um, progress of emotions and intuition. So the progression of that, the growth of that, um, you guys may have had some growth of that um, recently and um you could be using that to, in order to uh, gain profit, gain money, those type of things. So you need to... Um, meditate for clarity and see what it is that you want to do that could be giving a gift to oneself but i feel like this week there is going to be some sort of offer that may be made um you may have to sit on it you may have to think on it is it going to be worth your time is it going to be worth your you know your while um will you be getting compensated how will you be getting compensated so there is some sort of generous offer here that's going to be coming this week we have the queen of wands here being clarified by the three of cups it may be um in reference to joining some sort of group dynamic um like i said but the three of cups is very celebratory it's very happy energy that's cancerian energy um so that could be um aries leo sagittarius feminine who um you end up coming into a third party with but i'm feeling more or less like this is like a spiritual family a spiritual third party because that's falling under cleansing body and spirit meditation for clarity so you may even end up gaining an offer um and it doesn't have to be a particular like hey do you want to be my friend type of offer but it can be an offer to be a part of some sort of group dynamic where you all are um where you are being around like-minded individuals okay where you can sit and think and um but you're gonna have to sit I, I feel like some of you you know you've been through a lot you want to gain clarity on whether or not this is the direction that you want to go in um but like these cards say make sure you cleanse your body and spirit take a spiritual bath meditate all right um do some hydromancy that's what it looks like she's doing here where she's um looking into the water for divination to gain clarity um look at smoke fire whatever it is that you do um exercise but um there's some sort of group dynamic where this um queen of wands very confident very beautiful very outgoing energy very passionate very fiery energy um has some sort of fulfilling deal for you i feel like i'm feeling more or less like it's like a deal with the ace of pentacles being right here but it's something that's going to involve you um spending more time with a soul tribe or a soul family here we have the page of pentacles here okay 
So the page of Pentacles um, is good news. That is good news. You know, pay, uh, Pentacles is about health and wealth. So this is about good news. Um, and the star card is also about health and healing. The star card comes after the tower, after some, you know, a big moment of breakdown and turmoil and, um, you know, just a lot of things that were going on with this page of Pentacles here. It's like here, um, uh, what did it say? A penny for your thoughts type of deal. It's just something that can um, lift that chin up, you know, where you may have been feeling down or where you may have been feeling a little bit stagnant. I mean, you weren't stagnant. You were just doing what you had to do. And, and that in that, the divine has to do what they have to do on the 5D level. And while they're doing that, sometimes we do feel a little stagnant. You know what I mean? Sometimes we can slip into that five of cups, being a little bit ungrateful energy. Like, well, damn, like how long is this going to take? Nah, you can't do that. Y'all can't do that. Divine work when they want to work. Temperance is right here. That's divine intervention. They don't work by time, you know. On the temperance card right here, she's doing yoga. She's in the tree pose. You know, trees are stagnant. They sit there. But if a wind blows hard enough, it can sway that motherfucker. All right. So temperance is all about having that balance. Um, that can go back to this card, meditating for clarity. She's got one eye open and one eye closed while she's balancing. Um, and what she's balancing out here on one side of her, she's got a bunch of sweets on the other side of her. She's got fruits and vegetables and books. So it's like, what do you want to consume? Okay. Balance out, uh, what you want to consume. Okay. Plant the seeds here for a healthy life, mind, body, and spirit. Um, but I feel like you did plant the seeds. You did put that out there. Okay. You put out the energy that you wanted to receive of the type of person that you are, the type of people that you wanted to draw to you, toward you and connect with you. People who were going to be on your level, balanced, um, healed, um, and bringing in just good news. That's going to be soothing to the mind. Um, that's going to bring, cause the, the, Star card is also for me a card of balance. She's holding, she's the water bearer. She has two things of water. Well, in this deck, um, <clears throat> she's bringing the energy from the stars to the water. So she is the water bearer. Okay. It's that direct connection that she has with the universe here. So that direct connection of her having that um, with the universe is good news for someone here. And I feel like um, you're going to get an offer in reference to that. Some of you may be readers. Some of you may be um, intuitives or things like that. Um, so um, this could just be a matter of someone gaining, uh, having a lot of recognition because the Queen of, of Wands is someone who is um, highly looked at. She's very beautiful. She's very recognized. So this could be just gaining a, a, a more of a following with the Three of Cups here and the Three of Pentacles here. Okay, there we go. We got the Three of Pentacles here clarifying the Temperance card. So like I said, Temperance is divine intervention that's bringing things into balance. It's kind of testing the waters a little bit after you meditate, after you... Uh, you know, maybe cleanse yourself, mind, body, and spirit, uh, get grounded a little bit, see what it is that you want to do, organize your mind and, um, you know, figure out whether or not you want to take this offer or not. I feel like this is an offer for, um, not only work, but working with working, doing something that you love, something that's going to be emotionally fulfilling with the three of cups and the three of pentacles being right here, something that's going to keep you balanced, something that's going to keep your creative juices flowing. And it's going to be something that you're going to be able to make a, a pretty penny off of here with the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles being right here. It's like you have a gift, but there's some sort of temptation. What is the temptation here? Ace of wands <clears throat> and the king of wands. devil and the five of pentacles uh, so you may have a partner or um, someone in your energetic field who's around you I see the ace of cups at the top of the deck and the hurt with the hermit and the sun card and the four of swords at the top of the deck and we know ace of cups is kind of like regenerative restorative healing type of energy the sun is also healing with the hermit so um, kind of going hermit mode like I said going within being by yourself meditating praying whatever it is that you do to get these temptations out of your head um, someone feels like they're going to be left out your partner here this king of wands this is the king of wands here and right behind the king of wands we have the king of pentacles and the empress 
And then we have the world card here and the tower right behind that. So I don't know who your partner is, but this partner, even <laughs> this partner feels like, you know, this may be the temptation. This may be the choice that you have to make for some of you. I'm, I'm getting that some of you have to make a choice between a kin of ten of king of pentacles <clears throat> this empress here may need to take make a choice between a king of pentacles and a king of wands which is the divine counterpart but um for some of you i'm feeling like this king of wands and king of pentacles is the same person embodying um both of these energies um this person feels like you're just going to go off and do whatever without them um that you may leave them behind um but that's that devil energy that's that temptation that'll suck you back in to staying comfortable with where you're at with what you have and not get you um and not get you in the state of mind where you're like, I deserve better. I'm worth more, okay? I can use my gifts. I have a star family. I have like-minded people around me, okay? Um, yeah, this this uh, counterpart or whoever this is, I'm not sure if this is someone, um, like if you all are, are dating someone or married, um, the king of pentacles here can indicate, uh, you know, a husband or it can be an ex, whatever. But um, either way, this person kind of doesn't want to be left out. They want to start this new beginning with you with the Ace of Wands. But um, let's see what's behind the Tower card here. The Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Somebody is locked in their head. And we got the Magician right behind that and the Ace of Swords. So not only do you need to gain clarity, but your partner needs to gain clarity as well. It's I'm not feeling like that's y'all energy, the temptation. I feel like, you know, Ace of Wands, you know, sometimes that can be considered sex um, with the devil card right here. I feel like your partner may feel like with you blowing up, with you getting big, with you being as beautiful and sexy and abundant and, um, you know, uh, having to be in the public eye. I feel like with the Three of Pentacles and uh, Three of Cups, <clears throat> I feel like um, your partner may feel like you, you may get tempted um you know with sex and end up leaving them out of things 1717 17. oh man no no you guys got to do a little bit of reassurance um there's probably that's why that tower card was right there there's probably still some healing and growing that your partner needs to do but at the end of the day it is the king of wands and the queen of wands so you know they're there you know for the long haul as long as this partner isn't being toxic i feel like um i feel like that uh that uh temptation can be sorted out or talked through or things like that but for some of y'all there is a capricorn that's definitely going to try to tempt um you with some sort of sexual innuendo so i feel like that's what this meditation for clarity may be you may receive several offers from different groups this week um some um or you may receive um several offers this week period but either way, I feel like a lot of you, majority of you are going to either be receiving or giving an offer um, for someone Look, we have bills, priorities, importance and duty came up in reverse. That's that devil energy, y'all. Make sure you still taking care of your priorities. Make sure you don't get caught up in trying to figure out what you should do next and you stop doing what you've been doing that's got you to where you at to begin with remember one of these cards that came out here the card that was at the bottom of the other deck is that um strength and resilience that gives me that fiery leo energy so have that strength no, not too egotistical but be resilient against this energy that's like you know with this it has like house bill utility bill and stuff like that don't be putting off one bill to pay for something else all right just because you think you got it in the bag Or that could be for some of y'all. Maybe y'all forgot to pay a bill. That could be a reminder. A bill is due. <laughs> we are getting towards the first of the month. Y'all not. But uh, <laughs> with the page of pentacles and the star card, we got a suitcase. Pack lightly. Simplify. Okay. And that bills in reverse could also be um, someone making you an offer 
uh, with so much money that you ain't even got to worry about your bills how much this is how much that is um this and that like they could be saying let's go let's move this could be an offer um for a home here with suitcase packed lightly and simplified like oh shit i'm just leaving everything that i got right here and i'm gonna just move you know what i'm saying i'll buy new shit when i get there that type of deal or you could some of y'all could be going on a trip uh, we have veiled here with the queen of wands and the three of cups so she's kind of it's kind of um veiled i feel like like i said someone's gonna have to meditate for clarity there's some sort of veil over something um clarify veiled uphill and calendar time management okay so um there's a little bit of things that need to be worked out or cleared out or reorganized, I'm feeling like saying here, um, because of the way that the rows in this are kind of very well organized and put together. Um, she's cleansing her body and spirit. And also, you know, we got to cleanse the things around us. This is about keeping appointments, being on time. So like I said, I don't know if some of you guys... Um, it may be an uphill battle um, with trying to have time management, but I, I don't know. I get the, the feeling that something very lucrative is coming in for most of you, for a lot of you. Um, pack lightly for me with a suitcase is like going on a trip, parade, community, family, friends. That's what I'm saying with the page of Pentacles right here. I feel like you're going to be very celebrated as a star. This ha may have something to do with... Um, like I said, you guys are highly revered with the Queen of Wands being here and the Star and the Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups. Very much loved by your community, um, by this group um, that or, or someone, whoever it is that's making you an offer, whatever this group is or dynamic or this could be work or whatever it is that you're going into. But don't let certain shit tempt you guys there is temptation lurking around the corner over here and i just want to let y'all know but there is still a level of healing that's going on like i said it could be temptation just in the form of thoughts holding you back brick wall blocking you so this devil energy with the ace of wands wants to block your blessings okay don't let your blessings get blocked by temptation things that you don't fucking need that's what this temperance is here for do i the fruits and vegetables or the sweets you know good and goddamn well you're supposed to be eating them fruits and vegetables. <laughs> 2212, I just saw. What we got at the top of the deck? Yellow light, caution, deliberate, careful. Um, and be prepared. Be prepared here with this Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. Be prepared to, to help with a lot of healing, I feel like. I feel like maybe some of you are healers uh, with the Ace of... Um, I'm sorry, with, yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles right here and the Star card, um, I feel like a lot of you are very um, intuitive. Um, you could um, be some sort of energy healer with the Queen of Wands being right here. Energy healing, I mean like Reiki, um, that type of deal. But because, um, you know, with Reiki, you have an unlimited amount of energy. It never pulls off of your energy, I've learned while I've been studying Reiki. But um, I feel like you're going to be having a lot more appointments if that's what you've been trying to do. Whatever it is that you've been trying to do to help heal, um, it's, it's getting recognized. And it's getting recognized to the point where you look back to school and lessons came out here in reverse. It's like you're schooling uh, others. You're not, you don't no longer need to be schooled. Porta potty right here. Opportunities. Pick your battles. So like I said, there's going to be opportunities that are be coming up this week that are going to be very lucrative. Some of them are just going to be temptation. All right. It's going to be there to block you, that brick wall. You have to have the strength and resilience to figure out which one is which and go for which one that you need to be going for. Okay. Right behind that, we have prayers and riches. I'm sorry, prayers and wishes and prosperity and abundance right behind that. And then right behind that, we have speak your mind. So whatever it is that you have to do, if this is an interview, audition, um, anything that you have to go for that you need to speak, that you're, I feel like this is a public speaker here with the queen of wands here because she is definitely in the public eye. I feel like this is a public speaker, um, maybe her partner or uh King of Wands can be, you know, a business partner, security, anybody that's with or around her on this journey that's supposed to be her twin, whatever that's coming in with her. Um, I feel like this partner more or less plays kind of like the background, the quiet role that uh, 
king of pentacles energy that you know let me fall back i'm gonna stay here but you know quiet security i'll fuck your ass up if i need to with that king of swords i mean king of wands um but we have prayers and wishes so make sure you all are praying meditating for clarity on what it is that you should do let me get some advice from spirit yes so clear y'all calendar because y'all going to be the ones schooling people. Y'all got somebody's eye is on y'all real good or the public eye is on y'all. Y'all might not even know that y'all are getting as much attention. You know, this could be something as simple as a video that goes viral. Or like I said, this could be a dream job interview or interview or audition or something. Maybe some of you are performers or a star. Okay, but either way, clear out your calendar because we got parade right here, community. You, people is just going to be like... Woo, look, we got victory, success, trust, um, energy, we have past, and we have behind. So leave your past behind, okay? Clear it away, wash it away. You're onto a whole new chapter in your life. You can recognize those devilish, um, deceitful, uh, lustful type of energies that are gonna be trying to come towards you, um, trying to tempt you and trick you. You guys can recognize that. And communication came out here in reverse. You don't even have to communicate with it. Your energy is so far gone from that. It's so far behind you that it's literally gonna be making itself look stupid. Let it try to pop up. And that devil energy could just be friends and family who see you blowing up, who see you getting a little bit of success and recognition. And now all of a sudden they want to come back around like ain't shit happen and start something new here with the um, Ace of Wands. But they're going to be getting met with a brick wall because you're protected and you guys have moved on. That was unhealthy anyway. OK, health and healing came out here in reverse and we have magic and mystic. So trust your magic. All right. That um, you are a mystic. I feel like a lot of you are a mystic. We have pure, clear and gold. Some of you, um, like I said, are getting washing yourselves um, clean, getting pure, sending out pure messages, sending out that pure energy that you have, um, that solid gold energy that you have. We have intimacy, scared and trapped at the top of the deck and obsessive compulsive. So, yeah, um, somebody's scared. Somebody's trapped. Um, in hermit mode more than likely um, because they probably can't get to your energy but if this is your partner you know give them some reassurance let them go along with the process if you see them progressing with you cool if they're not progressing with you some of y'all might have to leave people behind and that's just a harsh but true word all right cold right there at the bottom of the deck all right cardinal signs aries cancer libra capricorn if nobody told y'all today i'm gonna tell you i love you peace